complication. That's what it's called. You want to know why it's called that? Because there's some features in it that you don't understand that when you go through something, then you realize you have it. Yeah. Have you ever, come on, like for instance, when the lights go off, you ever had a watch that it glows in the dark? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> See, everything started as a seed. Get this. Abraham was a friend of God. Before God did something in the earth, God came to him. Remember before he sends the two angels to uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, that the Lord comes with the two angels? Get this. And, and Abraham invites him into his, his tent. Yeah. Get this. We need to be so sensitive that we can recognize God anytime he comes. Yeah. Come on, lift your hands. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Get this. And the son's name is Isaac. You know what Isaac means? He will laugh. Tell your neighbor, your, your name has your victory in it. Get this. My name is Terrence, tenderhearted, brave, strong, glory to God, defender of the weak. That's my name. So get this. When you know who you are, you don't worry about what you're going through. Y'all hear me? Because whatever God allows you to go through, your name got the victory. Amen. Your name, get this, you rest, get this. Not saying that my name got power. No, he has power. But if I surrender to him, he will bring me out every time. He'll bring me through. Amen. He tells him, get this, take your only son. To Mount Moriah yes. and offer him up as a burnt sacrifice. This would have messed many of us up. Lord, you want me to get my last ten dollars? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Get this. Some people are so tight, they would get a hundred dollars out of a nickel. <laughs> they would squeeze it. Y'all hear me? When it comes to getting what we want, there's no limit. But when it comes to doing what God say do, it's too much. Come on, y'all help me. Help me today. Get this. He didn't exchange words. Go, go to the, I believe the third verse, man. Good. And Abraham rose up early in the morning. Hold on. Hold on. Did he consult with anybody else? Our problem is when God tells us something, we're talking to the wrong folk. Mm -hmm. You sure God told you? <laughs> Let me help you. How can you listen to someone to give you spiritual advice when they're not even hearing from God themselves? <laughs> you know how we do. We get mad at folk in church, so we go outside the church and yeah. discuss church uh -huh. business yeah. when yeah. folks are not even spiritual. And then they say, well, I don't go to church because ain't nobody right. Ain't nobody this and that. But get this. Get this. But what's even worse, why would you go to them to give you sound advice? And you wonder why you unstable because who you hanging with? Go ahead, Mother God. Abraham rose up early in the morning and covered his asses and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son. And clave the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went into the place of which God had told him. Listen, do what God tells you yes. when God tells you to do it. Yes. You know what happened? <coughs> was, the Lord said, I want you to step out in faith. I got this for you right here. Okay, God. <coughs> when, look, you know how you, a person is scared to jump off the diving board, they just sit like this. They walk out on it like this and look down at <laughs> I got a bit of a courage here. You can go, 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 and you wonder why everybody else getting their stuff before you because they're not afraid to take the leap of faith. Oh God, help me now. Let me, let me help you. What year are we in? 2020. The leap year. It's a leap year. So hear me. What are you saying? God is going to elevate your faith to a higher level. Uh -huh. And what has happened, get this, we come to church, oh, we're waiting on God. God said, no, I'm waiting on you, but you got to be willing to obey me even when you don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. Even when it don't make sense. Yeah. Because get this, many times God will tell you to do something that you are, you be saying, what in the world? Lord, am I crazy? Yeah. And everybody else calls you crazy, but God said, no. Mm -hmm. And you ain't going to understand it. Get this, I know it's not proper English. You're not going to understand it until you do what he tells you to do. Because get this. Abraham makes a prophetic declaration before he gets in position. What are you saying? You need to know if I'm doing it for God, Lord, you got me covered. If you tell me to do it, you're going to bless me. If you tell me to do it, you're going to make a way out of no way. Hear me. I know that. Get this. Get this. Go ahead. Read that, read that verse. Finish reading. And then on the third day, 
He lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. Did you hear what he just said? Lord, I know you telling me to come up and offer my son up. But get this, he tells his servant, he said, listen here, this is as far as you can go. Listen, everybody can go where God is taking you. Yeah. And when God is taking you higher, you got to leave some folks right where they are. Yeah. 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 I'm not taking no extra weight because I'm going higher. Yeah. See, I need somebody that will push me in the season that I'm in. Yeah. I'm tired of dragging folk along and always pulling me. Waits on you. Come over here. When you gonna come to service and Pastor, you don't have to preach today. We just want to praise God. Because people think they always gotta have a, a word. Yeah. But if the Spirit of God is in there, let him preach. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. What are you gonna do when the service gets so high and you can't even preach and everybody just lay it out? We just gonna enjoy the Holy Ghost. Because get this, I can't do more than the Holy Ghost can. And it it's actually him doing it through me. Get this. He says, the servants, y'all stay here. Me and the lad gonna go yonder and worship and come again. I tell your neighbor, said, neighbor, yeah. you're gonna see me again. Yeah. But when I come back, I'm gonna be better. I'm gonna be different. Something gonna be done changed. My faith gonna be increased. Because get this, why? Because people have a tendency of trying to remember you when they last saw you, yeah. or at that last place. When they saw you, that you was broken, you was busted, you was disgusted, you was hurt, you was crying, you was weak, you was wondering what you gonna do about this and wondering what you gonna do about that. And they was looking for your demise, but tell your neighbor, but God. Some kind of way God made a way out of yeah. nowhere. Allow him and no one else to go say him and his son because get this, he didn't want no one else to get his glory. Amen. And get this, and sometimes you can take folk that were with you, but they're not for you. Uh -huh. and they don't understand you. Uh -huh. And so they can be a hindrance uh -huh. to what God want to do. Because get this, he didn't need nobody that didn't have faith. Uh, he didn't need to take nobody with him that didn't have faith. If every time you say God is doing this and that person said, I doubt that, you know, you need to check that out. <coughs> Listen, that's my day stuck. Uh -huh. But I'm tired of being where you are. Amen. I want to be better. All right, Can I help somebody? Uh -huh. You know how you have them folk that's always up under the tree, always got these, uh, these dreams, hallelujah. One day I'm going to have this, but they ain't done nothing to change it. That's what they said 25 years ago. Amen. They still stuck. Ain't got nothing. Still living with mama. Y'all better tell me. Hello. And then they're talking about everybody else is like, man, it's a bad ride. When you gonna get yours? It ain't gonna fall out of the sky. You gotta do something different. Can I take tell somebody anybody wanna grow in God? You gotta do something different. You can't keep doing the same thing and expecting to progress in God. I'm always trying to test our faith to take us to a better place. Go ahead and read the next verse, man. And Abraham took the wood from the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and the knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father, and said, My father. And he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold, the fire and the wood. But where is the, where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Hold on. Hold on. Isaac was carrying wood. Isaac was to be the sacrifice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the sacrifice was carrying the wood. Yeah. And he realized, Daddy, now you just said that we're going to go and worship and we're going to come again. But, and we're going to make a sacrifice. But I don't understand. Where's the sacrifice? Go ahead. We just finish reading. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering 
And so they went both of them together. Y'all hear me? Isaac asked the question, where's the lamb for the sacrifice? <laughs> then his dad, Abraham, says this. Son, the Lord will provide Jehovah Jireh. Amen. Provide a lamb for the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Hear me. Sometimes you're not going to understand God, and you're not going to even recognize God moving. Get this, until you get in position. Go ahead. And they came to the place which God had told him of, and Abraham built an altar there. Hold on. Get this. They go to the exact place. Our problem, instead of going where God tells us, we go everywhere else. Yeah. Because we don't want to be obedient. Yeah. And you know what? You know how God tells you, go and apologize to their sister. We go all around speaking to everybody else close to me. Instead of speaking to their sister. Get this. But your blessing ain't going to, to speak to them. Your blessing ain't going to get it back to their sister. Y'all see how our pride does? Our pride causes us to miss so much. Because get this. We think we already know. We think we know more than God. Oh God, help me now. Let me help you. Have you ever been waiting on God and you got tired of waiting on God and you said, God, I'm going to give you plenty of time let me help you out now. And so you jumped into something thinking that it was God, but you realized, God, what in the world have I got myself into? Oh, they go to church. Oh, they're a godly brother. They're a godly sister. Are they saved? When they go to church, the devil goes to church too. Are they saved? Well, they go to Bible study. He reads the Bible. No, that's not the question. See, the devil knows the word, can quote the word back and forth. Get this, but there's no problem because he don't live. He likes to twist it. So you got to be careful because a person just quoting scripture don't mean they say it. Hello, somebody in the house. Yeah. Holiness, holiness only comes through God, through the Holy Ghost. He can't live right apart from the Holy Ghost. He can't live saved. So get this. He said that God will provide, go ahead, read. When they come into the place, he built an and altar. Everyone hear me? Yes. When you get in a position, stay in prayer. Go oh God, help me. You know why many of us get this? When we get, we pray for God to bless us with a child. And why God allows trouble to come on that child that God blessed us with, mm -hmm. it's because we didn't build an altar before we got there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, when we got there. That means keep you in a posture of prayer. Mm -hmm. See, because when you have an altar, that's where God comes. That's where you meet God. Man. You, that means, get this, even though there's be things going around, on, around you at the job, it won't even affect you because God got you covered. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to help somebody in the house. Yeah. Anybody know that, 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 that everybody else, come on here, is on pins and needles, but you walking yeah. through the valley of the shadow of death. Come on here. Why? Because you know that God got your yeah. back. You know that, come on here, that everything going to be all right. Why? Because I'm in covenant with my God. Yeah. Go ahead, my God. Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in the <coughs> and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. Let me, let me say this. Are you willing to allow yourself to become a sacrifice? Are you willing to hurt for others? Are you willing to suffer for other people? See our problem? We don't want to suffer. We don't want to go through nothing. But we just want, we want everything. We want the blessing. There's a price for the anointing. <coughs> you're going to be broken? Come on here. You're going to hurt? There's times you're going to cry? Oh, God, help me in the house. Mother Wellie, have you ever shed a tear? Because people did you wrong. People lied on you. People talked about you. People didn't understand you. Glory to God. But I thank God that God ain't like me. Yeah. Don't give up yeah. on you. Yeah. Come on here. Yeah. I can run safely into his love at all. Yeah. And he had never come on here, thrown me away. He's never gave up on me. I'm glad that God ain't like me. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, my God. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Hold on, I want you to stop. Okay. I appreciate that. Stop right there. I want to give a point. I appreciate okay. you, my God. Get this. Notice 
that God did not speak no more to Abraham, God in position. He gave him a word before he moved. Y'all hear me? Before he stepped out in obedience to God to get to Mount Moriah to offer up Isaac. And then when he puts him up there, has the wood, has him laid up there, has the knife thrown back, get this to slay him. Then the Lord speaks to you. Well, God ain't going to speak to you until you first do what he already told you to do. Lord, I'm not hearing from you. Are you in position yet? Are you in position? Come on. He prophesied that the Lord will provide. Come on here. So even though I can't see it, I know that God is working on my behalf. Amen. Come on here. Amen. Because I know he didn't bring me this far to leave me. So to Amen. I know the door over to God. Come on here. That God keeps on making a way out of no way. Come on here. Doors he's opening and my eyes can't even see it. But tell you what, I trust him. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because God is faithful. Anybody know that God is faithful? Amen. There's no shadow of his turn. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. In this day's hand, finish me that man. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad. Hold on! Everyone hear me. You've got to be so sensitive to the Spirit of God to know when there's a change that is taking place. When God make a switch of rule. Yeah, God, you told me to do this thing. God said, now I don't want you to do it. Now I know that you're faithful. Sometimes God has allowed you to go through some stuff just to be tested. Amen. Hear me? Because you can't be promoted if you don't pass the test. Get this. If I'm always allowing what folks say to me, stop me and get me down and cause me to, to stop my progression, I'm failing the test. Amen. But until I get to the place and say, you can laugh at me, you can call me out my name, but I don't hear what you're saying. I, I hear the voice of the Lord calling me closer. Come on here. You got to be so desperate for God. Hear me. That when you come to church, Pastor, I need you to preach to me. I need you to give me something. Because my soul is longing for a word. Because my family is in desperate need, desperate need of, of deliverance and salvation. I need a breakthrough on my job. I need breakthrough in my mind. I need healing for my soul. Come on here. You got to be willing to make the sacrifice. That whatever it takes, Lord, I'm going to obey you. Why? Because I know that you got something better. Anybody know you can't beat God's giving? No matter how you. Go ahead, my God. Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do anything unto him. Don't do nothing to him. For now I know that thou fearest God. See, thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son from me. Hold on. Tell your neighbor it's only a test. Yeah. It's only a test. Them lying on you talking about you is only a test. Yeah. Them making fun of you is only a test. You being laughed at, come on, being criticized is only a test. It wasn't meant, come on here, it wasn't meant to destroy you, it was meant to make you stronger. It was meant to prove you, come on here. Because God said, if I can trust you with this, I can trust you with more. Come on here, you can't get more until you do more. The angel says, stay your hand. For now I know the angel of the Lord. And many times we say the angel of the Lord is talking about the Lord himself. He says, stay your hand. Now I know. Come on. Yeah. That you would do whatever I tell you to do. I can trust you. Get this. What's sad? We can't even trust our own selves. Yeah. But God said, I can trust you. Why? Because he knows what he put in us. Come on. You know, if you, you had a, a, a problem stealing, don't leave no money out around you. <laughs> and the worst thing you do, get out. I thank the Lord for delivering you from stealing and, and this and that. Some things just keep to yourself. <laughs> praise God. Look, praise God in secret. They didn't say it. So then all of a sudden when you say that, everybody was going to go up for the first and check your heart and make sure. God bless your sister. <laughs> Hear me. We got to be so sensitive to the Spirit of God to know when God has turned around. There's a change that's taking place. What has happened, get this, what happened to many churches and caused many ministries to die is they get stuck in the move of God and fail to move with him. Don't hear <coughs> God can be telling you to do this today, but then God said, now nah, I want you to move this. Come on here. You got to be so sensitive to move when God say move. 
Because if you get stuck in the move, God is no longer there. You're just going through emotions, emotions tradition, custom. Y'all hear me? Religious spirit. No power, no presence, because God is not there. Y'all hear me? Get this. Go ahead, read, finish reading about the ram and the fish. And, and Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in the thicket by his horn. Hold on. Everyone hear me. Let me ask you a question now. How come the ram was caught earlier? Could have been caught two or three days sooner in the thicket. How come Abraham didn't notice that the ram was in the thicket before he put eyes in the kingdom on the altar? Get this. God supernaturally placed him in the thicket. Oh, God, help me. To let Abraham know, I'm your provider. Yeah. I'm your way maker. You still worried about how you're going to do this? You can't do nothing without me, Abraham. Because get this. Get this. And let me help you. God made Abraham a promise. See, at first, he was a a father of a multitude, but God said, let me change your name to Abraham, a father of many nations. Get this? And he only had one son. Get this? From him and Sarah, which the promise, that was a promised seed. Get this? God is not going to kill the promised seed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But he's waiting for you to offer the seed up so he can bring forth increase. Oh, God, help me in the house. He waiting for you to plant the seed in him so the seed can flourish into who he's called it to be. Glory to God, get this, get this. Let me share this with y'all. Good folks. Then with my job. Had to go retrain. And the woman that was inside me, she was saying, I was telling everybody that you come back and you have flex on me, say I can count on you because we was a team and this and that. And the whole time, I couldn't say nothing. Have you ever, God told you to hold your mouth and you? Wanted to say something that you just had to make yourself do. <laughs> because the whole world, they just knew they had it down. Yeah, all this, and don't say nothing, but they don't get rid of this other person. And I can say anything, and I'm holding my, my peace. I said, Lord, help me. Out of obedience, get this. Because, let me, let, me go, let me take you back. Because the person that was over me, my, 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 my district manager, when he called me in, he said, this is not an interview. He said, but this is a meeting. I want to make you an offer. Mm -hmm. Get this. I was there at Blue Cross Blue Shield almost two years ago. Mm -hmm. And the head people from uh, the Richardson uh, security uh, 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 people, they remembered me. And they said, I wish we could get that guy Terrence back that you had. Mm -hmm. And so he calls me. He said, I want to make you an offer that you can't refuse. He said, I want to bring you back, but I got to let you go through the training. There's new equipment, new software, him to get you trained. He said, but you can't say nothing to the other two. He said, because they want to move them out. Y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. He said, but they want to bring you in as the lead head security officer. Mm -hmm. And so I couldn't say anything. She was doing things and breaking policy. So I'm kind of praying, Lord, help me. You know? And I said, you shouldn't do that. Just, no, I just got to do that. And I'm saying, saying, I can't say nothing. I can't say nothing. So when the guy Terrence come down, the, his name is Terrence too. That, 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 <laughs> his name is with an A minus, with a E. Mm -hmm. So he came in. He sat, sat down with me on that Tuesday. He looks at me across the desk. He said, he said are you ready? I said, yes, sir. I'm not leaving already. I said, okay. So the next lady comes in for the ship, working her. I said, hey, could you do this for me? She said, yes, sir. She gets up and go. Not knowing that I'm over her. See, it's everyone hear me. Just because you're in a leadership position, don't allow your That's position right. to go to your right. 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 Know that, get this, know that you're a servant to God's people. Right. See, even as a security officer there, I'm there to serve them. I'm not above them. I'm there to serve them. Yes. And so, and so he, he calls me into the, the room and he said, we can do this or we can do this. I said, listen, I said, I'm going to be honest with you. I said, this one right here, I said, I really desire to talk to you. I said, give me time to talk 
work with her on the people's skills. I said, because she, she's faithful, she's a hard worker. I said, she's very dependent. He said, I said, but if you, this, I said, it's not going to work out too good. I said, because they're stubborn. They think they know everything. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes you got to tell the truth just like it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not to hurt nobody's feelings. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to understand, get this. See, if you got to stop tolerating stuff that God wants you to deal with. Mm. Hello. Amen. Amen. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to rock the boat. I don't want to offend nobody. Listen, some folks need to be offended. <laughs> and so, and so, I talked to him, shared, shared with him. He said, "You know what?" He said, "I'm going to talk to. He had to go talk to the head woman that's way up above him." And so, the next day, I'm at home. The next morning, I get a call from my district manager. He said, "Man," he said, "They gave you what you asked for." He said, they gave you what you asked for. Because this other lady, she had a family, she had just moved. But she was faithful. You understand? Listen here. I may not be perfect, but I'm faithful, God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He knows your heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the other person, she just knew that she was going to keep her position. And was the very one that was called into the office. And she <coughs> heard If one hear me, none of us are irreplaceable. Amen. Amen. Lift your hands. Amen. None of us have ever placed them. Glory to God. And so when I I, I, I was going and, and seeing some of the people, some of the people said, hey, so you back, so you back, so you back. I said, I couldn't say anything. And so <coughs> somebody said, yeah, I hope you're back because you need to take your, I'm sitting there saying, <laughs> But hear me. My thing is to serve people. Everyone hear me. Regardless of what you've been paid by now on your job, do it with all your might. Do it with your best ability. Because get this. This woman makes the comment the one day they, they release. She makes this comment. She says, she says, oh, they only be coming down maybe four more months and then they just go back to normal. Just like they were. That's a person that doesn't have any intentions of changing. Mm -hmm. They're all about our service. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear me? Everyone hear me? And she just won. She just knew. Because when she was called into the office that day, and she, was, she was shocked. Hear me? And this other one that knew that she was going out the door, I told him so many times. I said, listen, just stay calm. Everything's going to be all right. I said, there's more fighting for you. I know, but this, I said, uh-uh, don't talk. I said, just trust me. Hear me. When God says something, you can take it to the bank. Amen. Amen. Come on, lift your hands. Yeah. The title of the message, God will provide. Yeah. Yeah. He will make a way out of no way. Yeah. Anybody know that God will make a way out of no way? Anybody yeah. know that God will see you through? Yes. Yeah. Get this. Hear me. That's why don't do wrong evil for evil. Mm -hmm. If somebody try to do you dirty and they think they're getting by, then you get the dish for themselves. Because mm -hmm. get this, God will allow things to happen all around but won't even come near you. Mm -hmm. Everybody else just being, it's going to come? No. Mm -hmm. Get this, if God moved me out, he'll move you to somewhere better. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get this. If he moved me out, he's moving me up. <laughs> Hallelujah. I just got to trust him. Come on, everyone, lift your hands. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, everyone, lift your hands. What is it you're holding back on God today? Give it to him. Give it to him. You still crying over that son and daughter? One day, oh God, I need you to trust him. I think the Lord tell them, he said, tell them people I'm answering their prayer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. See, we're worrying about how we gonna, God going to do it. Don't worry about how he's going to do it. Just know that it's already done. Amen. Amen. Come on here. God knows the very thing to change a person's heart. Come on, lift your hands. Glory to God. We praise you, Lord. We worship you in this house. We magnify your name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Young man, 
What do you do? Yes. Not the way now. Praise God. Because I saw 